welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, All Things Wrestling, and today we're going to be looking at all the wrestling news from Thursday. We start with a very interesting story. Justin Barroso, SportsIllustrated.com, published a new article today about Nia Jax's absence from WWE television. It said, The reason behind Nia Jax's much-discussed leave of absence has been uncovered as Sports Illustrated learned that Nia Jax balked the idea of losing clean to Sasha Banks at TLT. She called her cousin Wayne the Drunk Walk Johnson to ask for his advice, and Johnson encouraged her to walk away if she was unhappy. Whether this is factually true or not has not been confirmed by Nia Jax, Rock or WWE. So it could just be speculation and them trying to get a decent story out of it. Or it could be factually true. We'll have to wait and see. But we do have slight more about this whole thing. Natalia put on Twitter a picture of her and Tamina with a bout and put the hashtag under siege. And then she responded, listen here Mod and Marge. Don't think I'll forget what you and your lame crew did, at, did to Team Red. Just wait until Survivor Series at Domina Snooker. So, yeah. By the look of it, she's going to come back for Survivor Series. So, which is awesome. Um, oh, WrestleCade announced on social media that Jeff Jarrett will not be appearing at their convention next month and has for his scheduled match against Ryback. It's now been cancelled. They said, due to personal issues beyond our control, Jeff Jarrett... Uh, uh, will not be attending any of the events during WrestleCade weekend. We'll be announcing a new panel for Ryback soon. Double J is a friend of WrestleCade res uh, weekend team and we wish him and his family all the best. Damn. But we do have a reason why this may be the case. According to ProWrestlingSheet.com, Jeff Jarrett has reportedly checked himself into a rehab facility following his departure from Impact Wrestling. There is some belief that it is a WWE sponsored rehab, but that has not been confirmed. So, damn, he, it may be in rehab. Can't 100% confirm this, but it's if you are, get, get well soon, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, and this week, SmackDown Live did 2.699 million viewers, which was up from last week's 2.32 oh, million viewers. This is considered good news for WWE, especially since this week's show was up against Game 1 of the World Series, which is fantastic. Uh, then we go on to a very, much more interesting story. Uh, an online war of words between Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega continued with the following message. Uh, Andrew somebody said, I am Jericho, who is this Kenny Omega guy? I don't recall him being at any rush menu or pay-per-view event. And he went, nah, I'm just a guy having those six-star cl classics you keep hearing about surely why 2 js have plenty of those in the big leagues right and he went your matches are incredible too bad nobody sees them hashtag minor leagues <coughs> damn damn guys seriously <laughs> damn 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 and then we go on to um, Jerry Lawler giving his opinion on WWE illness said I think it's probably some bug they picked up on one of the overseas tours or something like that and on Kurt Angle's in-ring return Kurt and I talked at length about that in the past how much he wanted to still wrestle with WWE he was happy with the contract and happy to be with the WWE but he was not crazy about the fact I guess they had already told him that they didn't want him to do things like get in the ring and wrestle I know that he's lobbying for that to wrestle and I know he was wanting to do that I'm happy for Kurt so am I uh, now we go to a weird little uh, update but Dave Meltzer Brock Lesnar was never asked to replace Roman Reigns at WWE TLC even though he lived in Minnesota for many years Minnepopolis wherever the pay-per-view was uh, and considered to be his hometown. WWE reportedly contacted Chris Jericho about appearing at TLC. That would have been so good. But he was unavailable because of his fuzzy commitments. Damn it, Jericho. And then we have a nice little update on Ronda Rousey. Her stats for WWE. She's reportedly been at the Performance Center this week training for a WWE match. WWE still appears to have the plans of doing a horsewoman versus MMA horsewoman match. Uh, but it's going to be safe for WrestleMania. The reason is due to Survivor Series being Raw versus SmackDown and also gives the MMA women more time to train. Fair enough. No need to rush this. Uh, Tara Terrell has uh, left WWE uh, Impact Wrestling, as you know. Dave Meltzer notes that the reason why was she was unable to travel to Canada. It's a similar situation to Jim Cornette. He couldn't get over to Canada and the company plans to take the show in Canada moving forward. Terrell's departure was said to be an 
ample one on both sides, so everyone's happy with that sound. <clears throat> oh, and w, uh, according to Dave Meltzer, WWE was trying to shop around several reality shows for television. There was talk of having Miz and Maurice having their own reality TV show entitled The It Couple. The idea that Miz and Maurice would interact with other celebrity uh, friends in Hollywood, including singer Avril Lavigne. Other possible show in 28 is a 2018 version of the Diva Search, since the concept led to several stars being created with its lengthy run. Oh, please, no. Stop the reality TV show. Stop them now. And um, Eric Bischoff recently appeared on Sam Roberts' podcast, and he talked about on why TNA hired him. We didn't try to do it again in TNA. The only reason TNA hired me was because they had no choice. Dick Scott wanted Hulk Hogan. That was obvious, but Hulk Hogan didn't trust anyone in TNA. Uh, when, I, when I say trust, I don't mean... Of, uh, devious or malicious or anything like that but he didn't trust their judgment or the ability nor did he trust Vince Russo in any way shape or form uh, Terry Hogan made it clear that if he was going to go to Tene then I had to be there to kind of oversee whoever's uh, whatever's creative is involved with Hulk Hogan it was my only job I didn't go to the company meetings I wasn't part of any financial discussions but my role was really to oversee creative as it related to Hulk Hogan character damn fair enough Fair enough. And not having the influence in TNA that he had, that he had in WCW. Over time, that changed. My role kind of evolved into some of that was natural. Some of it was because those things were happening internally. I had a little more influence on the creative side of things, but neither Hulk nor I had any amount of control over strategy, to ta tactics, or anything to do with financial or anything with that company. We weren't invited nor asked for. The company was run by uh, Janice. Bob and Dixie Carter, so we had nothing to do with it. When I ran WCW, I obviously had a lot of control over the business, but when I was in TNA, I had no control over anything other than creative. Fair enough. I thought he had a bit of creative control, but I guess not. And on who he would have built WCW around if he had bought the company in 2001, I think Bill Goldberg was really the guy that we would have built the company around. Certainly, we would have maintained uh, some of the big time talent like Hulk Hogan, others. But I think everyone recognised that Bill Goldberg was going to be, at that point, the guy in WCW. Fair enough. I would have That would have been a solid choice. Now, that has been the wrestling news. I do hope you've enjoyed it. That has been AJ Smiles. There, as always, selflessly letting me tell you the news. Now, as always, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please support me on Patreon. I'll link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content, and I'll catch you later.